Selamat Syatra and hi, my name is Jun Lim Jiaji. We are from Mechanical Group 1. I'm the leader of the group and the group members are Eng Sao Tang and Ong Kang Nen. The supervisor of our group is T.S. Muhammad Shahir bin Yaya. The title of our final year project is Multipurpose Stair Climbing Trolley. These are the table of contents of this video. Feel free to pause this video if you want to see it. I'm going to start this presentation by talking about the subtopic of Chapter 1, which is Project Background. According to the Malaysia Property Market Centre, there are 263,220 units of service apartment in Malaysia. With this amount of apartment, transferring load over stair have always been a routine for some Malaysians. Besides, staircase is a common place to fall. Risky practice such as carrying items up and down steps are common cause of stairwell falls. As people are easier to lose their balance while carrying heavy loads over stairs. This is why a product that is capable of making transferring loads over stairs an easy job is needed. Furthermore, modern society is all about efficiency. According to the National Research Federation, 97% of customers have abandoned a purchase because it was inconvenient for them. From this, we can conclude that nowadays people would prefer to have a time-saving and convenient shopping experience. This is why the functionality of a product is also essential. Hi, I'm Ong Kang Nen, and I will expand about the problem statement of current stair climbing trolley by previous researcher. So the first design is tri-wheel staircase climbing hand trolley from Snehita Kilari. This design is only limited to carrying bulky loot and it is not suitable to be used in shopping because all the grocery may fall down from the trolley. So our product is equipped with a detachable basket to solve this problem. The second design is stair climbing trolley. Typical stair climbing trolley only has one basket for all grocery. So there is a high probability for the wet item in the basket to damage the dry item. So our detachable basket has a separate compartment to separate the two items. The third design is stair climbing trolley with green vehicle from C. Ganaville. In this design, the space taken by the pedal mechanism will cause trouble in pulling the stair climbing trolley up the stair. To solve this problem, our product has a portable scooter to save space. The last design is cargo scooter Mimo C1 by Singaporean. The deficiency of this design is high cost and its inability to climb stair. Our product stands out with acceptable cost and tri star wheel to climb stair. Hello, my name is Eng Sao Tang. I will continue presenting the objective of our project. The first objective is to investigate the existing stair climbing trolley in the market. And the second objective is to design a multi-purpose stair climbing trolley. And the third objective is to fabricate a multi-purpose stair climbing trolley. And the scope of study is that the trolley is designed by using software application which is SOLIDWORKS and the overall rock dimension of the product are 14 times 28 times 110.18 cm. The trolley includes foldable scooter for faster movement in a short distance and the foldable scooter is supposed to be used on flat surface and should not be used at an actual vehicle on the road. The trolley includes various function that will bring convenience and our expected result of our project is the multi-purpose stair climbing trolley will be produced and the trolley will have a foldable scooter, detachable basket and a separate compartment for wet and dry items. Although there are numerous types of trolley on the existing market but in this chapter we we'll only focus on four types of stair climbing trolley. So the first one is tri-wheel stair castle climbing hand trolley and this is the picture of the real product. It is used to transfer load over stair and it is widely used at the construction site to act as a replacement in location where human power is the only choice. Second, stair climbing shopping cart. It is a shopping cart fitted with tri-star wheel to push or pull up or down step or a stairway. Usually, it has a basket mounted on for carrying grocery. It is a shopping trolley with the ability to climb stairs. Thirdly, pedal power stair climbing trolley. In this design, pedal is added to transfer faster for a short distance on normal surface. In addition, the rail wheel along with the pedal needs to be lifted and locked by a locking system before climbing the stair with the tri-wheel. Lastly, cargo is scooter Mimo C1. 
It is currently launched in the earlier of 2021 and it is the combination of electric scooter and trolley. Cargo e-scooter can be used to carry heavy loot for a decent distance. Unlike the other stair climbing trolley on the existing market, Cargo e-scooter also designed as an actual vehicle on route. In this sector, I'll be comparing our trolley with other trolley that has similar concepts. So the first trolley I'm comparing with is Triwheel Staircase Climbing Hand Trolley. So the first differences between our trolley and this trolley is that our trolley is specially designed according to ergonomic data, where this trolley is roughly designed and aren't using any ergonomic data. The second difference is that our trolley can be used for heavy duty and for shopping, where this trolley can only be used for carrying bulky box only. The third difference is that our trolley is able to provide a foldable scooter for faster movement in short distance, where this trolley does not provide a vehicle. Next, I'll be comparing with stair climbing shopping cart. The first difference is the ergonomics as seen as last trolley. The second difference is our trolley have a separate compartment for wet and dry item, where this trolley only have one compartment. Lastly, our trolley provide affordable scooter where this trolley does not provide a vehicle. The third trolley I'll be comparing with is pedal power stair climbing trolley. First differences, same, ergonomics. Second, our trolley can be used for heavy duty and shopping, while this can only be used for heavy duty only. Third, our trolley was able to change direction while using a scooter, while this is unable to change direction while cycling. Fourth, our trolley was portable by having an adjustable handle, while this trolley was not portable. Lastly, our trolley was able to use on stair easily, while this is not easy to be used on stair due to its bulky design. Lastly, I'll be comparing with cargo e-scooter Mimo C1. The first difference is our trolley is powered by human force, while this trolley is powered by electricity. Next, our trolley is able to climb stairs, while this trolley is unable to climb stairs. Third, our trolley is portable, while this trolley is not portable. Fourth, our trolley is designed to run on flat surface only, while this is designed as an actual vehicle on road. Lastly, our trolley have a low price with its functionality, while this is pretty costly. I will continue presenting the wheels of conventional hand trolley. The conventional hand trolley is a two-wheel car for moving heavy objects by hand. This type of hand trolley can transport heavy loads on a smooth surface but cannot be used to climb the stair. This figure represents the force diagram of a wheel climbing stair where F equal to applied force, R equal to radius of the wheel, FA equal to gravitational force, H equal to height of stair, and FC equal to contact force. In order to prove that the wheels of conventional hand trolley cannot climb the stair, the equation tau equal to r times f sine delta is used. Refer to the diagram, we can find that tau f equal to f times r minus h sine 90 degrees. By using theorem Pythagoras, we can find that x equal to square root of 2 r h minus h square. Therefore, the shortest distance between the gravitational force and pivot is determined. By using the shortest distance find, we can find that tau a equal to f a times x sine 90 degrees. Equal the equation 2 and 4 in order to determine the radius of wheel required to climb the height of stairs. Lastly, we can find that the equation of f equal to f a times square root of 2 r h minus h square over r minus h. By using the weight of denominator, we can find that the radius of wheel is equal to the height of the stairs. In a nutshell, increasing the wheel size can be used to climb the stair, but increasing the wheel size will decrease the performance of wheels. For instance, the overall acceleration of wheels will be decreased and the frictional force is increased due to the larger contact area between wheels and stairs. Hence, the conventional hand trolley is not suitable for climbing the stairs. For the TriStar wheel design part, the TriStar wheel was originally designed by Lockheed Aircraft Corporation Robert and John Fawcett in 1967. It was designed to have high performance on the road and off the road. The TriStar wheel was made out of three wheels, which are positioned in an upright triangle with two wheels on the ground and one above them. When the TriStar wheel encountered small obstacles such as poles, rocks and stairs, the wheel system could rotate over the obstacle. The mechanism of rotating over the obstacle is that the lower front wheel hits the obstacle and obstacle prevent the motion of the front wheel but do not affect the motion of driving axle. This caused the top wheel to roll forward into position as the new front wheel. In order to make sure there are no collision happen, 
the radius of the TriStar wheel should be calculated. The radius of TriStar wheel holder can be determined by using equation R equal to square root A square plus B square over 3. The engineering design process is a series of flow checks that are commonly followed by the engineer to solve problems related to designing a new product or improvising an existing product. Figure on the left shows the sequence of activity in the work for our final year project that we follow. Formulation start with establishing clear objective and needs. The objective and needs are usually a list of criteria that the design must meet the requirement such as performance, operating environment, reliability, safety, maintenance, cost, size, and weight. A morphological metric is a tool or chart used to generate many alternative concepts for each different function. In terms of multi-purpose stair climbing trolley, the handle can either be adjustable or fixed. The frame can be hollow or solid. The stair climbing method can be tri-star wheel or conventional wheel. The detachable basket can be box or bag and the hanger can be vertical or horizontal. Based on the morphological metric, there exists more than three possible outcomes for the multi-purpose stair climbing trolley. However, not all the alternative concepts can lead to a possible design. Based on the morphological metric, we have three options of design. The first option, the handle is fixed and the basket is box shaped, frame is solid and conventional wheel is used and there is no hanger is needed. For the second option, frame change to hollow, conventional wheel change to tri-star wheel, box shaped basket change to bag shaped basket and a vertical hanger is used. For the third option, vertical hanger change to horizontal hanger and fixed handle change to adjustable handle. Concept evaluation is a form of analysis but it takes on the highly quantitative aspect. It is used to evaluate the best suite of the concept design. The most popular technique used are weighted rating method. This concept is rated by using score evaluation, such as 0 is the lowest and 4 is the highest. Each concept rating is multiplied by each respective weightage and lastly sum up to figure out the best rating of the concept. From table on the left side, concept C has the highest score, followed by concept B, and lastly concept A. Therefore, concept C was selected for the further design process. After decided to use concept C, the design of each part was drawn and being combined with software. The software used is SOLIDWORKS 2021. These are the drawings of multi-purpose stair climbing trolley in three different situations. In parametric design, specific dimensions are given to the multi-purpose stair climbing trolley. The height of the adjustable handle when it is fully retracted is set according to 5% female mechanical engineering student in UTHM which is 815mm. After some tolerance is given, it is set to 802mm. The height of the adjustable handle when it is fully extended is set according to 95% male which is 1101.8mm. After some tolerance is given, it is set to 1102mm. This is to ensure that different gender with different height is able to use this product with comfort. And for your information, this ergonomic data was collected by senior students in UTHM. The scooter base, which is the platform we are stepping on while using the scooter, its dimension is given according to the foot length and foot breadth of 95% male mechanical engineering student in UTHM. After some tolerance is given, the length of the scooter base is set to 315mm, while the width of the scooter base is set as 125.8mm. In detailed design, assembly drawing and build of material will be shown. This is the exploded view of multi-purpose stair climbing trolley with balloons that label out the item numbers and this is the view of material. Feel free to pause to check it out. This is a picture showing our current progress. It is considered 50% done in FYP1. For the last part which is analysis approach, the analysis approach plays a vital role in the fabrication project as it makes the project more credible to the public. The process of analysis approach can be divided into three steps which are identifying the aspect being analyzed, data correction, interpreting data, and making a conclusion. The first step for structural design analysis is add the material into the 3D drawing in application SOLIDWORKS has drawn before, but make sure the structure and the material are based on the actual. 
The second step is run the simulation and the result will show the maximum load. The third step is test the load which is slightly less than the maximum load manually to confirm the product can truly withstand this amount of load. The figure below is experimental data for a structural design analysis. For effectiveness analysis, the first step is push a shopping trolley with a normal work speed for our starting point. The second step is record the time taken from the starting point to the end point. The data is tabulated and the same for its view is repeated by using the scooter mode of multi-purpose stair climbing trolley. The figure below is experimental data for effectiveness analysis. For this three patch of reference is the reference we use for this presentation slide. Thank you for lending us your ear.